158 Canadian soldiers were killed during the 13-year mission in Afghanistan. For more on this, let's bring in retired Major General David Fraser. He is the former commander of NATO forces with the Southern Coalition in Afghanistan. David, thank you for joining us today. It's great to be with you this afternoon. It's an important and an emotional day, you'd agree, in history of Canada's armed forces. You were there in Afghanistan and you were there today in Ottawa as well for the rededication ceremony. What was it like? I, it, it certainly was an emotional day. Uh, you know, John teared up, choked up, I choked up. It was, you know, the, the, the last gift that our fallen comrades give is a gift of togetherness, which keeps on giving that today, 1,100 families, soldiers, sailors, airmen, airwomen, veterans, we all got back together and, you know, shared some tears, shared some funny stories, but most of all, um, share a memory that will never, never die in this country. And, and in that monument, what uh, the ceremony happened today was absolutely spectacular. It was well done. Wasn't this long overdue, David? Uh, absolutely. But, you know, you can debate about how long it took, but they did it today in a fashion that all Canadians can be proud of. Those 158 uh, families who lost loved ones, or 162 in total, they were truly touched by what the Canadian forces and our government did to, to bring this together today. And um, better, it, it, anyway, it was just an amazing day today. Well, that's wonderful to hear. Also because of the fact uh, this came after much anger and frustration of the families who were not officially invited initially in the ceremony in May. Uh, what would your advice be to the government on dealing with such sensitivities? Well, I think the government, you know, learned a valuable lesson back then. Whatever they were trying to do was insensitive. It was tone deaf to the needs of the families. But, you know, you learn from the past, you learn from your mistakes, and today... Uh, the families, all the families I talked to and all the other soldiers who I had served with over there and other people uh, just had nothing but positive things to say about today and how they were treated today. And this is the way it should have been done from the beginning. Of course, while well, we remember our brave, it's also a very proud day of the kind of legacy and the contribution we have seen from our armed forces, David. But there are concerns still that continue to remain about the location, I believe, of this uh, cenotaph, which is behind a security perimeter and not easily accessible to public, to family members. What can you tell us about that? Well, the, ch the chief has certainly taken that on board. I mean, it is where it is right now. But he has made a commitment that there will be any Canadian can go and have access to this in certain windows. And if you're a veteran uh, or you're one of the families, you can see it any time. So where it is is maybe not ideal, but the Canadian Forces has made arrangements that you can, if you're a Canadian, you can go and see it. So right. they made the best of, of, a, of a difficult situation. You know... Also talk us through, because over time, we have seen how this cenotaph has also grown from that one rock from Afghanistan to this grand memorial today. So talk us through this journey as well. Well, it started off with an Anukshuk over in Afghanistan, and it was a soldier's initiative to build an Anukshuk back in 01. And then, you know, later on, as soldiers started to pay the ultimate sacrifice, soldiers there... Uh, did what they wanted to do to commemorate and recognize the the contribution and the sacrifice of our fallen and started building this this memorial, which over the years has grown and grown. I mean, I I recall myself, you know, in Afghanistan, going to that memorial by myself or with my sergeant major and just, you know, reminding myself what we were there for and what, what those young women and men had paid to uh, give, uh, you know, sacrifice their lives. For something that they believed in. And David, briefly, about the importance and the significance of a memorial like that for the generations to come and for the country. Well, and that's the key thing is, you know, let's learn from our history of our uh, mistakes in the past and what we've done and the great sacrifices of those fallen and their families. Let's try not to make the same mistake again. Let's try to learn from what they have done, what they have built and the, the the words from the principal secretary from the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan today, those women and men who sacrificed all have made a con contribution to make life a little bit better in Afghanistan and to buy time for the Afghans to find a political solution to their conflict. Um, 
but we can learn from the past and let this be a reminder. Let's not do this again. All right. We appreciate your time. It was great talking to you today. Retired Major General David Fraser, thank you for joining us on CDV News Channel. Thank you.